if we think of curling uh, bombers, if you think of it like a clock, and you have a target, say, there's an enemy ship that you're looking to strike at 9 o'clock. Here's the strike. Well, if you were able to turn on a dime, turn completely on a dime, then you could put this reticle, if your bombers were here or something, and you could just turn it and run it right on top of the ship and, and do the thing. But it turns out that bombers don't have that ability. So if bombers don't stop, because planes don't stop, because if they stop, they fall out of the sky and splash into the water, and then that's no fun for anybody. Well, it's fun for the person that didn't want to get bombed by the planes, but still. So instead, what you'll end up doing is you'll do something like this. Why do you do something like this? Because the U.S. planes... Uh, when they start, they, they go up really sharply, so they almost cease forward movement for a small window of time, and then they duck down and they start pushing. And that's when they start going faster. So this brief window of time is probably about this. And you're effectively gonna be taking this, you're gonna be moving in that direction. And this, as a result, is gonna end up moving out some and come over as well. So it ends up circling out to land on the reticle. So you're gonna be trying to think of this almost like you're placing the reticle here on a clock, but because the planes are gonna keep moving, they're gonna work out in the end. And you can do this, you can extrapolate this out for even, uh, even stuff that's further. So like you might have your planes, for instance, here with your reticle, uh, we just have to draw it because I can't do an off angle reticle, but you could do your reticle something like this because the reticle is gonna go forward a little and then go in the other direction. So if we think about that, the reticle goes forward a little and then swings onto the target. Hopefully that makes sense.